there is a lot of bad news all over the world. But one thing that the Afro has always done, is we've always lifted up our community with stories of hope. The Afro-American Newspapers was founded in 1892 by my great-grandfather, who had been enslaved, was a sergeant in the Civil War, and with $200 from his wife, Martha, purchased the name Afro and a printing press at an auction. He stepped out on faith, knowing that there was information that needed to be provided to the community. We are the voice of the Black community here in Baltimore and beyond. We are in the community day in and day out to capture all of those beautiful moments just as well as the challenges. Residents in Baltimore know that if there's something they are passionate about, they can let us know and we will jump on it. The Afro has a small but a powerful staff. People are wearing multiple hats with multiple duties on a running deadline. But we really can't do everything, right? The Afro has been in the throes of a digital transformation really for 35 years. And you can have a whole lot of tech, but if you don't know what to do with it, you just have a whole lot of tech. Right. But if you have tech and you have people who walk alongside of you and help you to understand how to maximize the utilization of that technology, that's what's important. Right. So these are going to be kind of the top level things that we're trying to figure out. Partnering with the Google News Initiative at Transformation Lab provided the opportunity to have personal coaches and have access to people who were leaders in all different areas each week we were exposed to new thoughts about how to best manage our digital products. We've experienced a 34% increase in advertising revenue. We've also experienced 4,000 new subscribers over the six month period after the Ad Transformation Lab. The digital transformation has actually allowed us to expand our reach within what we do. And with the help of Google, we've even accelerated that transformation. We've always been looked to as an entity that empowers our community, and that has not changed. Uh, our methods have changed and how we get the news out, but our commitment to community has not changed. This is year 130 for the Afro-American newspapers. The Afro is absolutely still here, and it's really the people in the community who carry us into the future. <laughs>